Are you ready to learn how you can get these pipe cleaner curls? Well, keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tasha from Tasha on Lodge, and I'm a sister wife and lifestyle influencer, content creator, and blogger. I know it's been a little bit of time since the last time that I made my first video on YouTube. So if you guys are here watching and you've been here from the jump, thank you guys so much for your continued support. If you're new here, welcome again. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I do my Sister Locks pipe cleaner curls. This is a video that has been long overdue. So many people love the way I do my pipe cleaner curls. So now I'm showing you exactly step by step how I do them so that you can achieve the same look. I've been doing Sister Lot Pipe Cleaner Curls for a minute now. I started back when I was in my first year of having Sister Locks, back when they were a lot shorter, because I was looking for different ways to style my hair, different ways to curl it, and so pipe cleaners are my favorite way to curl my hair because it really gives you a loose natural type of look and that's what i was really liking about it and so that's why it's my favorite curl i stick with it it works and there's so many ways that you can style it so now I'm at year five in my sister lock journey and obviously my hair is a lot longer than it used to be before. When my hair was shorter, it took me about 30 to 45 minutes to put these pipe cleaners in. But now that my hair is longer, it takes about an hour and it also takes more pipe cleaners. But don't be scared about the time requirement. These curls last me at least three to four weeks and it's so worth it to me. All right, so here's what you're gonna need to do the pipe cleaner curls. You're gonna need some black pipe cleaners and don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them because you do have to make them first. The reason why I say black is because you don't want the colored pipe cleaners because then you're gonna have colored fuzzies in your hair. So then I also use the Alec Hay Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner and I actually pour some of this in my spray bottle and that's what I use to dampen each section of my hair when I'm putting the pipe cleaners in. So then you also need a black microfiber towel and you can also use some clips. You can literally use any type of clip, but these are the ones that I use to kind of hold my sections. Let me show you how to make the pipe cleaners. So I use black pipe cleaners and I'm listing all of the items from this video down in the description but basically you're gonna just take the ends of the pipe cleaner and put them together and then kind of just smooth it out you don't want to bend it all the way through though you want to leave a little bit so that you can have like a hole there use one of your hands to pinch the side where the hole is and use your other hand to twist and wrap the two legs together so they become one so you're gonna do this to all of your pipe cleaners and you can also keep them in a bag so that you don't lose them. After you're done making all of your pipe cleaners, then you're gonna want to section your hair. I like to section my hair into three really large sections and I just use my fingertips as a comb and I just run my fingers through my hair to kind of make the section and then I twist it up and use a clip to keep the hair out of my face. Then I make a second section, twist it up and put a clip on it. And the third section is the one that I'm actually gonna work on. So I start by grabbing a couple pieces of hair. I like to use about six locks for one pipe cleaner. So I like to count them to make sure because sometimes if you put too many locks on a pipe cleaner, it can be chunky and it won't hold the curl right. Here's where you're gonna need that towel. Keep it on your lap so that if the water drips on your hands, you can just wipe it off. Grab your spray bottle and spray from root to end and then take your hands and just kind of smooth it all out and just get all those locks damp and you can spray some more if you need to. So you're going to wrap the ends of your locks onto the end of the pipe cleaner and really make sure that's secure because that's really going to hold everything together. If you have locks that don't quite reach the pipe cleaner, that's okay you're gonna keep twisting the pipe cleaner and as you keep twisting it 
you can start adding those short locks into incorporate them into the pipe cleaner as you continue rolling. So I have a lot of short locks that they're not all the same length and that's fine. You can just keep on rolling it and adding it and rolling it and adding it. Once you get to your scalp, then you can take the little loop part and bend it down and then go down to the end of the pipe cleaner and bend that up. So that is going to secure the pipe cleaner and also prevent it from unraveling. So this is what the hair looks like all rolled up onto the pipe cleaner. So you just keep following those same steps over and over again until you finish each section. And I'm not gonna lie, your back and your neck might be a little bit sore tomorrow from all this arm and, and back movement, but it's worth the time and the effort because your curls are gonna be looking so cute and I can't wait to see how y'all's turn out. So now it's just a time lapse of me putting my pipe cleaners in. You can just watch and see the progression of me putting them in and how I finish each section. You can kind of see also here that my the way that I'm holding my arms changes based on what side I'm doing these pipe cleaners on. So take note of that too because you will kind of have to maneuver your arms into different positions so that you can keep the same tension while you're twisting up the pipe cleaners. Ooh, last section. I was so hyped when I finished. <laughs> okay, so I know y'all see that little lock just dangling and hanging. <laughs> I always seem to miss one lock every single time. It just never fails. But that's okay if you miss one, just grab another pipe cleaner and just curl it by itself. So yeah, definitely do a quality check before you dry them just to make sure that you can catch any of the ones that you missed. So there's two ways that you can dry your pipe cleaners. One way is to sit under an overhead dryer. And I usually do that when I'm short on time, but then you can also just go to sleep overnight, they'll dry. And, and these are okay because your hair is just damp. It's not soaking wet like you just got out of the shower. Either way is fine, it's just based on your schedule. Use your fingers to check your locks to make sure they're dry before you start unraveling them. But you can always just do like a little tester and unravel one of them to really see if it is fully dry. There's two ways that you can unravel or take down these pipe cleaners. The first way is the way that I'm doing here where I'm actually using both of my hands and I'm carefully unraveling the pipe cleaner. This is a really great way to ensure that you are not causing any damage or any breakage. However, it is a very slow process and sometimes if you're in a hurry, you might not have the time to do each one of them like that, which is fine. Here's what the curl looks like after you pull out the pipe cleaner. The second way to remove the pipe cleaners is to use one of your hands to pull the pipe cleaner out away from the curl and using your other hand to hold the curl and you're just pulling them apart. Now that way you really do have to be careful with because sometimes the locks can be kind of stuck on the pipe cleaner like they're they're uh, twisted onto the lock so you do have to be very very slow with it and cautious to make sure that you are not causing any damage. But when done correctly, this can be a much faster approach to removing the pipe cleaners. Look how amazing these curls are. They're just so bouncy and luscious. Now you can actually wear this as a style or you can fluff them out, which we'll do later. 
Now, don't forget to put all of your pipe cleaners back into your storage bag. You spent so much time making those pipe cleaners, you wanna keep them together and safe so you can reuse them again. So like I said, you could definitely rock this look as a style in itself, and you can kind of gradually let the curls fall or come apart as you wish, or you can separate them to get more of a voluminous look. So I start separating mine from the root and I pull them apart. And again, you can stop here <laughs> if this is fine for you. You can keep it like this or you can separate them further and you'll continue to get more and more volume the more that you separate them. After you're done separating all of the curls, you're gonna use your hands and fluff out the curls and give it some shape and some body. Doing this will help stretch out the curls and kind of mold and shape it to your liking. And boom, there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial for how to do pipe cleaner curls on sister locks. I would love to know if you plan to do this style on your sister locks or if you do this style and you might do it a little bit differently than how I showed you. Let me know in the comments how you do it and what your plans are for your sister locks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you learned something. And I will see you in the next video.